In today's video, I'm gonna explain eight reasons why this new Korg 88 key keyboard is my latest choice when recommending a keyboard to piano beginners and those who need 88 keys for casual gigs. grand piano sound is the highly detailed and resonant Italian grand piano sample derived from the $3,000 Cork Nautilus 88 workstation. This is a stereo multi-sample with a whopping three samples per note, a feature uncommon at this price category. I love the easy to use sound selection knob to call up the eight sounds on this keyboard. Instead of throwing gazillion sounds that you won't use beyond the first week of ownership, Korg included eight bread and butter sounds piano students and performing musicians use on gigs. The second sound is a ballad piano, great for slow romantic contemporary music. sound is the classic Fender Rhodes electric stage piano that sounds round and warm. The iconic 1980s Yamaha DX7 FM electric piano, perfect for classic ballads, is sound number four. The fifth sound is a harpsichord, which isn't the best I've heard, but students working on their Bach inventions will not be left stranded. find a majestic pipe organ on sound number six. staple jazz organ is the seventh sound. The 
final patch is a lush orchestral strings sound with good attack, ensuring it is usable for backing chords as well as melodic lines. this price, don't expect Korg's latest SGX2 sound engine, but the tried and tested PCM sound generator matches the price tag. With a 120 note polyphony, you are unlikely to encounter note drop-offs with single sample sounds such as the Fender Rhodes e-piano, but huge chords with sustained long arpeggios with the tri-sample Italian Grand would quickly gobble up note polyphony. On paper, the Liano has 8 onboard sounds, but the bundle apps containing hundreds of sounds and a multi-track music production sequencer is where this keyboard becomes an exceptional value for money. You can find the best price and detailed specifications in the video description. The software bundled with this keyboard is what truly sets it apart from the competition. For the beginner piano student, you get a 3 months premium subscription to Scoof, a music learning app valued at about $50. In a separate video, I compared the best piano learning apps and Scoof ranked high. Link to the comparison video in the description. The bundled Korg module LE comes with an additional 5 studio quality sound modules and are highly configurable with various effects and parameters. The Liano also unlocks a multi-track mobile music production app, the Korg Gadget LE, containing studio quality sound generators containing synth modules, drum machines, effects processors, and samplers with hundreds of sounds. With a simple USB cable, your keyboard triggers the sound on your iPad or smartphone and the audio is routed digitally via the USB cable to the speakers on this keyboard. Piano players who don't like a heavy key action will love Korg's light touch semi-weighted keys. Beginners who often struggle with heavy keys will be less discouraged when starting out. Nonetheless, there are three adjustable levels of touch response, light, normal, or heavy, ensuring you'll find the perfect key response for your playing style and skill level. 
While a few of you might argue that weighted keys are your only preferred choice, there is no denying that keyboards with weighted keys are significantly heavier and weigh at least twice as much as this lightweight, compact keyboard. From my performance demo, you can tell I didn't give up any expressiveness with this semi-weighted action. The key surfaces are not as glossy as those found on Yamaha keyboards but are also not heavily textured like those from Casio. I didn't experience any of my sweaty fingers slipping during my extended practice. These are one of the quietest keys I've experienced. There's no knocking or thumping key noise when I start to really dig into some pieces. Something I really appreciate when practicing late at night with a pair of headphones. I do wish there's a felt liner accent at the key pivots to keep dust out like other 88 key keyboards, but this isn't a deal breaker. If you are adamant on getting a weighted keyboard, the ones I recommend are in the description. A pair of 8 watt amplifiers driving two 8 centimeter speakers located on the front panel projects the sound directly to my ears. The bass reflex speaker with specially designed sound ports gave the output a dynamic low end sound. I pumped up the volume knob to the max and there was no vibrations or distortion. You can connect this keyboard to a powerful PA system when more volume output is required. The onboard speaker volume is more than sufficient for home or school use as well as for small intimate parties and street basking. You can find a pair of external keyboard speakers I personally recommend in the description. To thicken up your sounds, you can apply from a button on the panel a reverb effect to the samples. You can also apply a chorus effect for greater phase modulation. Music students will love the onboard metronome with adjustable tempo, time, signature and volume. And those who perform with other musicians and vocalists will make full use of the transpose and fine tuning features. For silent practice, you can plug in a pair of headphones through the 3.5mm output jack which also functions as an auxiliary output for connecting your keyboard to more powerful PA systems. I would have loved a separate set of outputs but that is absent on this keyboard. A standard quarter inch pedal input is where you can connect the included damper pedal to sustain your piano tones. The USB connector does not just transmit and receive MIDI for use with music production software and music learning apps on your laptop, smartphone or tablet. It is a full featured USB digital audio interface which means you do not have to shell out a couple of hundred dollars for an external audio interface in order to send or receive digital audio data between your keyboard and digital devices. The USB MIDI implementation is above average for a keyboard at this price. Apart from the usual MIDI CC messages, you can transmit and receive MIDI program change and MIDI channel select data. There are a couple of keyboards I recommend that come with wireless Bluetooth MIDI and audio and you can find them in the description. A traditional acoustic piano takes up space, is heavy, needs expensive regular tuning and is often too loud for smaller homes. One of the biggest selling points of this keyboard is the compact form factor and weight. At just 6kg, this is one of the lightest if not the lightest premium quality 88 key keyboard. The nearest worthy competitor I know, the Roland Go Piano 88 is at least 1kg heavier, which might not sound like much but is significant if you are carrying your keyboard around. A lightweight wireframe music rest is also included so you can sight read and play. An optional carrying case for the Cork Liano makes it really easy for you to play music everywhere you go. At less than 3 inches thick and 12 inches deep, you don't need much space for this keyboard. You can either place this keyboard on your desk or on a keyboard stand. I have links to an incredibly sturdy keyboard stand I recommend in the description. While a power adapter is included in the box, you don't need to be near a power supply to use this keyboard as this 88 key keyboard can run off 6 AA batteries. Check out the description for other battery powered keyboards I recommend. There are only two other competitors at this price point with high build quality 88 key keyboards. 
Roland's offering is 20% more expensive and, in my opinion, has a less impressive key action and sound. Alasis's version is cheaper, but the build quality, key action and sound quality is also lower. With Korg's bundled software sound modules, the tones offered by the Liano are miles ahead of the competition. The prices and detailed specifications of the Roland and Alasis 88 key keyboards, if you want to check it out, are in the description. While the Korg Liano is a compelling package for a low price, there are a couple of features I wish could be better. I wish the reverb button had an LED indicating if the reverb is on. Right now, you only know when you hit a note and you hear the reverb effect. It would also be nice if the sound selection norm had an indicator light so it's easier to see which sound is currently selected, especially in darker venues and on stage. As this keyboard is heavily targeted at beginner music students, I am dismayed that there is only one headphone jack. Most learning pianos have two headphone jacks, allowing both teacher and student to use headphones during lessons. A sturdier quarter-inch headphone jack would also be better than the current 3.5mm connector. While I can understand there is less need for an auxiliary audio input jack as one can use the USB digital audio port to stream music from your smartphone or tablet to the keyboard speakers, it would have been nice to have wireless Bluetooth audio and MIDI for a cleaner setup without dealing with wires. The lack of a pair of quarter-inch stereo outputs was also disappointing, especially for those who see this as a fantastic lightweight 88 key stage and busking keyboard. While you can connect two PA systems using the 3.5mm headphone jack using various wire adapters, nothing beats a proper set of sturdy quarter-inch stereo outputs. Functions which are less frequently used are accessible by selecting corresponding keys on the keyboard while pressing both the reverb and metronome buttons. This means you will need to carry the function chart with you to reference the corresponding keys. These functions should really be printed above or below the keys like what Casio and Roland does. Do check out my recommended keyboards, digital pianos and music learning apps in the description. Smash the like button if you appreciate the time I took to review this keyboard. My name is Jeremy C and I'll see you in my next video.